let's animate with grease pencil. Please take a look at my previous video if you want to know how to draw clean line with grease pencil. All necessary techniques are explained. Draw face. Now you want to start drawing. Stroke node has been created when you selected 2D animation at the very beginning. Make sure to select it. Switch to draw mode. Make sure both strength and radius pen pressure sensibility are off. Why you want to check off pen pressure? It is simply too much to manage. Just draw. No pressure. Because you can adjust it afterward. It is okay if your lines are squiggly or messy. You can always go to edit mode and tweak. See vertex and curve editing is selected. You can adjust lines. Please refer to previous video for how to adjust. I now subdivided and added a vertex but I want to keep it really simple. So dissolve vertices as much as possible. Tweak and adjust but keep it really simple. Now you have outline of the face. Ok, you got the face line. Switch to draw mode and draw neck line. Go to edit mode. And make sure curve editing option is off. Click the end of one line and click the end of the other line. And hit Ctrl J. Also click the other end of the first line and click the other end of the latter line. Hit Ctrl J. Now you have one connected line. You can go to edit mode and edit the line. I hit V and select 3 to break tangent continuity. Do the same on the other side. Probably you want to insert one or two vertices. Not you've got face and neckline. So now how about drawing mouth and nose? Draw mouth and nose and draw mode. Draw mouth and nose and draw mode. Adjust drawn lines in edit mode, with curve editing is on. I am using only same techniques we've used before. So that's how to draw. No extra techniques needed to have good quality lines. From here, I will teach you how to animate, 
with utilizing interpolate function. Interpolate function adds in between frames between key poses. My pre-made animation goes this way. But several extremes needed to help transition. I want to find good candidate for the first extreme. Up to this frame, the line encircles face and neck, but after this frame, the line goes round the face. So frame 7 is a candidate for the first extreme. Select key and shift D to duplicate the key and move it to frame 7 and start tweaking verts and handles. But you see frame 0 still. That's because onion skin is on. Go onion skinning and uncheck view in render. Where you can on and off onion skin on render view and edit mode. I go back tweaking verts and handle. I switch to object mode and deselect all. You see the drawing changes at frame 7. We have only two poses. Frame 1 is first key and frame 7 is an extreme. In order to insert in-betweens, I think we want to have an another extreme. At frame 5, we tweak some to make this appropriate for an extreme. Go draw mode and select interpolate tool. This is different from interpolate sequence that you can find in edit mode grease pencil pull down. So go draw mode select interpolate. Click and drag left mouse button and find closest shape that you want for this frame. A key is automatically generated. And edit. Edit away. and edit. Edit away.
Now you have first, second and third key. Now you want real in-betweens. But before making real in-betweens, you want to convert the breakdown that you just created into a key. Blender generates in-betweens, only between, keys, not between breakdowns. Take this as just a ritual that Blender needs. Select the breakdown that just you created, hit W or right mouse button, keyframe type keyframe. Move mouse pointer to where you want in-between, Grease Pencil, Interpolate Sequence Oops, you have to have Curve Editing off. Voila! Now you have In Between Frames. Likewise you can do the same here. Interpolate Sequence from Grease Pencil pull down. You can modify parameters here. Slow in, slow out, and stuff. In-betweens are created. Here we are making progress, but from around here we want to change line from this, to go round the face. Hit I, and select Duplicate Active Keyframe so that it doesn't affect the previous frame. And X to dissolve. You have to key it before deleting it otherwise chances are you delete lines on the previous frame. You want to go to Property Window and add new layer. Feel free to have as many layers as you want. In the end you can merge layers together. Move to the new layer and go Draw Mode. Do the same. Draw. Edit Menu Curve Editing Tweak and clean curves, to your heart's content. Check previous video to learn curve editing if you haven't yet. You want to find the next key, which would be before the face line separates. Here. 
very nice face expression isn't it? With white eyes. Click this frame and shift D to duplicate. I can adjust and tweak lines to match the guide image. You can draw the ear this side in different layer later on. Tweak points and whiskers. Like this. Like that. Like this. Like that. L to select all. L to select all. Still the line goes around the face so you can auto interpolate in betweens. Go to a frame between them. Interpolate sequence, from grease pencil pull down. Interpolate sequence. Oh no. You have to turn off curve editing mode. There. One thing to keep in mind is that Blender only save row vertices, not points, and whiskers of edit curves. They are a little off but you can fix it by using interpolate tool. We can adjust the line shape close to former or latter. Basically this is how you animate. With grease pencil, with good line quality. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. XO.